Aloha. Oh, what kind of aloha was that? <laughs> Not who you were expecting. We got to change it up a little bit. Good. Top nice. of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing? Check it out. We're watching a dog, but we got our very first clutch, which will, although it's technically still 2021, technically this will be the first clutch of 2022. And we're doing a dog bath because this dog's been in the creek getting all muddy and, and muddy. But he's doing a good job. <laughs> he's been in here for quite a while, actually, because I was calling Hillary 100,000 times to bring my memory card downstairs. But uh, first clutch of the season. Great way to end the year. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it should make sense. And we got a clean dog to start it off to. Clean, fresh start. The clutch, I'll tell you right now, there's six good eggs, at least from what I could tell. It's the first time female laying her eggs, so... I'm excited. Maybe maybe we'll call up the whole neighborhood and get them over here. I don't know. We'll at least bring some folks down. As soon as I get this dog washed, then uh, we're going to check out those eggs. Pretty stoked. Um, you did I haven't done Wait, any. not that. Not that. Yeah, right. <laughs> dog shampoo. <laughs> okay, now now you're, filming, you're filming the process. I got reindeer ears on. Huh? Can't fart with reindeer ears on. It's not possible. Oh, good morning, Mom. <laughs> no, they fit <laughs> on your big head. Somebody's super excited about this clutch, and somebody's ready to go to school. Are we recording? Of course <laughs> we're recording. <laughs> we've been recording since uh, we've been recording for this whole thing. My whole rant about you guys need to shh when Daddy's talking to the camera. Yeah, it's all on record. You can all look back at me like Daddy's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he looks clean. Snake. Eggs. Let's let's show Dad first, real quick. Carl? I don't know. How'd you know it was Carl? <laughs> How'd you guess Carl right? I was just thinking of the boy snakes that I know. Okay. Cool thing about Carl is Carl is our first ever ball python that we ever had. Mm -hmm. He's a hypo pinstripe, and the female we're about to pull the eggs from is also a hypo. So that means every single snake in this clutch is going to be hypo at okay. least, which is a recessive trait. What which, is the hypo? The hypo takes out the melanin, Ooh. so it's, it's hypomelanistic. Okay. You guys are gonna get kicked out of here in a heartbeat. You guys keep making a bunch of noise in my ear, okay? So hypomelanistic is without melanin, essentially. Okay. But it's just, it's not the same as albinism because there's still some pigment in there, as you can see. It's just kind of like a, like less of it. Mm -hmm. And so, but there is no black, as you can see, like all the black turns to this lighter color. If this was a regular mm -hmm. pinstripe, all these dark spots would be like black. Okay. But you can see it's kind of like a much More lighter. Gray gray and uh you know, gotcha. kind of a bluish tinge to it a little mm -hmm. bit but yeah carl super excited because again this is our first ball python mm, and this I, is the first clutch that he's I ever sired carl. <laughs> but this is the first clutch oh, that he's really? ever sired he's he's never produced because his girlfriend was always going to be charlotte oh. and she's taken seven years to actually produce some eggs ah. yeah because she's just been on the slow road to china or whatever but okay all right, so the awesome thing is even Keep though she head, took a long time, uh, don't right put your face up by the, that's a good way to get bit in the face again, Leia. God, how many times are you gonna get bit in the face in your life? We're gonna find out. We got a lot of life left, just, a lot of life left for some more snake bites. Um, no, no. That's all right, no. she wants to pet, it's fine. You have to learn, learn again real quick, you know, I, just I blindly you stick your right? hands into a snake. She's on eggs, so she might get a little, oh, my fingers are blocking the camera. Nice. Can I flip it? Freaking donkey life around uh, here. Oh, Leia. What did I tell you, honey? Go ahead, stick your hand in there. She's you want you want to take the, you want to take her little, off the eggs? They get a little defensive when they're on. Yeah, the she eggs. struck at my face earlier when I was hey, just honey. taking a look. So you gotta make sure that oh, it's safe first. Okay? Oh, that's so she's got what looks to be six good eggs. First time mom, six good eggs. She's a GHI. She's supposed to be a GHI humblebee, probably humblebee. humblebee yeah, which is a oh, hypo pastel spider, hypo. Hmm. 
GHI. GHI Humblebee. So GHI. Is, GH, is there a thing called a GHI Bumblebee? Yeah, GHI Bumblebee would be a GHI pastel spider. Mm. So, but it's more likely that she's a GHI Honeybee, which is GHI Hypo Spider. Okay. So no pastel, most likely. But we'll see. She was definitely a little bit lighter than I would like a snake to be for a clutch, but you know, like I said, in seven years coming, she's kind of one of those slow growers. Um, but she's also a good mom because she definitely struck at me earlier. But she should be done light. She looks pretty much empty. She's all done, got her coils wrapped up on there. And uh, gonna be a pretty easy removal, looks like, though. Nice and easy, just whoop a doop a doop a doop a doop a. Definitely empty. I can tell without even having to palpate that that is an empty snake right there. And. How long do you want me to record on this angle? Um, until we're done, maybe. Oh. What? Why? My arm's sore. Your arm's sore? <laughs> from holding that little camera? I from my workout the other day. Wow. <laughs> you got a question, Eli? What's up? Is it okay if I touch one of the eggs? Yes, you can touch one of the eggs. Can I please? Yeah, everybody it's can touch an egg. very soft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very really cuddly. Yeah. Why are they sticky? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of little. They're so yours. cuddly, huh? Aw, when they hatch, oh, Don't they'll... stick your face in there again. Oh, they'll be so cute. <laughs> oh. They... Oh. Hey. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Seven eggs for the first time mom. All they good, really no good. slugs. They look fantastic and healthy. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put those into the, uh, egg box just like that. Now I just wanted to clear up some confusion as to why maybe I was, because I, I said this is gonna be the she first clutch of 2022. Okay. That's no, also why we're wearing these things because it's, oh. it's pretty much Christmas. But this will be the last video. We're not gonna have a video up on Christmas because it's Christmas day and we're gonna be doing uh, family stuff and well, I know YouTube and I think well, that all you guys should be doing Christmas stuff too and not, um, the reason I'm saying this is going to be the first clutch of 2022 is because this this clutch will not hatch until 2022. So it's going to be the first clutch of 2022. Even though it's laid now, it's almost Christmas. It's Christmas clutch, but we won't see babies until 2022. So these are part of the 2022 hatching season. I'm literally just holding this on the eggs. Cool. <laughs> you want four minutes of I mean, you can egg put, vision? Well, you can... You can <laughs> Film it on other things. You can take it. You know. I mean, I did a little shot of you. Okay, great. And of Leia. And of Eli. I hate kids. <laughs> Mommy, I want to do a smolder. Ooh, the smolder. <laughs> Leia, let's see a smolder. <laughs> see the smolder, babe. Yeah! <laughs> Too bad Noah's not here. Mommy, I want to do it again. Yeah, that's more like a Noah smolder. The eggies All right, are can stuck. I be done with this one? Uh, no. <laughs> I should have just been a camera person and not in the video. Oh, well, then say so something. I'm gonna just well, say something. Hold the camera in say front of my face the whole some, time. Say something. In, well, don't hold it in front of your face. <laughs> say something interesting. <laughs> have an interesting question. Ooh. I don't know. I have one. What's your interesting question, Eli? That snake eggs, like, hatch until, like, maybe a month or so? Is that a question? Are you asking how many days it takes for uh, the clutch to hatch? Yes. Can I guess? Yeah. Like, 56? Yeah, 55, 56 days on average. See, It'd I be know well things. Uh, you know That's why I don't have to ask questions, because I know it. All right. <laughs> I have a question. What's your question, T? When did baby hatch, they'll be so cutie. That's not a question, <laughs> but I agree when the baby's hatched, they'll be so cutie. So cutie. So I'm not even going to, I'm not going to candle anything. These, I'm just going to place them in there like they were laid. We'll get a uh, piece of press and seal on top. That's okay. And then uh, put them in the incubator at about 90 degrees, 89, 90 degrees, and we will call it uh, a day. And this will be the first clutch of the 2022 hatching season. So a couple months from now, you guys will see uh, some fresh ones. I'm just um, is there any risk when you pull the egg, if you pull the eggs apart? Um, if well, when you pull the eggs apart, you run the risk of potentially tearing one. Mm -hmm. So you have to do it very gently and carefully. Sometimes it helps to take like a little 
tooth, toothbrush or a little paintbrush or something and put some water in there. I just use my fingers sometimes yeah. to rub water into the area that you're pulling them apart from to help them not to if help you not tear stick it, as much. Is that if you tear it, you could like mm, it wouldn't could. be good. It could as long as you seal it back up. You can put something over it mm. to like seal up. You'll, I've fortunately never teared an egg when pulling them apart. Okay. That is definitely something that could happen. Put some sort of band-aid um, thing on it. Yeah, or you don't have it. to here. You don't have to hold that in my face. We're, we're, <laughs> It's, front, it's blocking your face. It looks ridiculous. That's what I was saying. I know. But well, you keep choosing <laughs> well, to hold it Well, if I'm going to hold it here, you can't see into anything. Fair if enough. If I hold it down here. All right, all right. Like, anyway, <laughs> that's the the other risk you run is, so when they're laid like this, mm -hmm. so the reason they stick together is so they don't roll around because, right. you don't guys, want guys, I see you have questions. Hold on a second. This doesn't have to do with like the, like the, the embryo, blood vessels or the, the embryo. The embryo, that, there's an air sac that goes at the mm -hmm. top yes. and it's... And it, the, the embryo kind of adheres close to that, so uh, after that clutch is laid, you know, a little bit after they start to adhere. So if they've ha got their chance to adhere, and you roll it, and the air bubble goes to the bottom, then, then you they have a chance of drowning in the egg. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's why you go and check with a light afterwards Just in the dark to see where the embryo is at and point that to the top. But since that was how these were laid, was in this position right here, she did a great job of laying them and putting them mm -hmm. in that position already. So. Um, can just kind of assume that nature is doing what it's supposed to do. In the, exactly. All the, right. The air bubbles. Right. Are, and I and I'm not so crazy that I that I'm gonna be like, well, I need to check. I'm I'm just putting faith in sure the natural way, way that they would do them in the in the wild. We right. got lucky enough that we caught her, and she had you know laid them all nicely that on one spot. None mm -hmm. of them rolled out of her coils, mm -hmm. and so great. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, put this put the present seal on. Put them in the incubator and set it and forget it. Cool. Uh, yes. What's your question, Leah? The cockroaches are not moving. That's also not a question. <laughs> but Eli? I think we should call this the Christmas clutch. Also not a question. <laughs> but, you know, is what it the is. The Christmas no question episode. This, this, is, this is definitely the Christmas clutch. It's the Christmas clutch. Yeah. Uh, first clutch of the 22 hatching season. All right. Hatching. All right. So I'm excited. We'll, we'll put it away and then... Uh, yeah. Any any hopes for anybody? Christmas coming up. Merry Christmas to all you folks. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Uh, this is probably my best Christmas present that's going to happen down here in the snake room. I don't know what Hillary has planned for me behind the scenes, but... Um, Nothing down here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thanks for tuning in for our clutch poll, and we'll see you on the next video, which will be after Christmas. Aloha. Aloha. Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's a, a newer thing, but um, we actually found this really great group of people who just meet like outside at a park on Sundays, but um, one of the couples of this group just bought a chapel in this like little community. And so we actually had a, uh, a service there today instead of out at the park, which is nice because it's been kind of freezing. And the kids all sang Joy to the World up on the little stage and just like, 